Hello, in this worked example video, uh, we are asked to find the moment uh, that this 80 pound force over here exerts about point A and exerts about point B. So two separate moment calculations. Uh, we're going to do this one at a time. I'm going to start with point A. Uh, and for this we're going to be using scalar calculations. Um, so I need to do force times distance. Moment equals force times distance. I'm using asterisks just to uh, separate that from the cross product, which I do elsewhere. All right, so the force is going to be 80 pounds, um, and the distance is going to be the perpendicular distance. So I've got the line of action of my force, and if I'm looking at point A, it's the minimum distance between A and this line over here. All right, so it just so happens that 30 plus 90, this is a right angle already, so I've got my perpendicular distance is literally just this length right here. All right, so let's draw a diagram over here and figure out that distance. So I've got a triangle, and what I know, I've got six feet, that's the vertical distance over here, uh, and I've got a 30 degree angle, and this is a right triangle. All right, so I know I want to find D, so sine of 30 degrees uh, is opposite over hypotenuse, which is 6 over D. D is going to be equal to 6 divided by the sine of 30, uh, and that happens to be 12 feet. All right, so that is my distance there. This is my force. All right, so moment equals force times distance. Moment equals force times distance, which is um, <clears throat> going to be 80 pounds times 12 feet, which is that distance there. All right, so that, if I calculate all that out, is going to be 960 foot-pounds. All right, and this, uh, I need to kind of use intuition as it's going to cause, if I were holding down point A and this force is rotating it, the whole thing would rotate counterclockwise uh, about point A. So a counterclockwise rotation is a positive rotation, so I'm going to leave that as a uh, positive moment there. All right, so that is the moment that this force exerts about point A. Next, let's move on and we'll talk about point B. All right, so I'll leave this over here a little bit. I'll start on a new page. So about point B, uh, I'm still going to do the moment is equal to the force times the perpendicular distance. Uh, the perpendicular distance is going to be a little more complicated here. Uh, because I'm looking at the minimum distance between uh, point B and this line of action. It's not going to be this top distance. It's actually going to be uh, another, got some other line up here that is perpendicular uh, to the line of action. All right, and so if this is going to happen to be, uh, if this is 60, this is a 90 degree angle, this has to be a 30 degree angle over here. All right, so let's do some geometry and figure that out. So I know I've got my original triangle. This was 12 feet, this was 6 feet, this was 30 degrees. Uh, and if I solve uh, for, let's call this one R, um, R is going to be equal to um, 12 times the cosine of 30. Uh, which means R is 10.39 feet. I need that to figure out I have another right triangle. So this is one right triangle, this is the second one. And so this is the right tri next right triangle. Uh, I now know R, that's 10.39 feet. I know this is a 30 degree angle because that's 90. This is 60. 
All right, so now I want to find this distance here, because that is the distance in my force times distance, the perpendicular distance between the line of action of the force and point B. All right, so for this, I'm going to do, well, the cosine of 30 would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is D, and hypotenuse is, is 10.39. So cosine of 30 degrees is D over R. Um, and I'm looking for D. D is going to be equal to uh, 10.39 times the cosine of 30. All right, so D in this case is going to end up being 9 feet. All right, so last step in this is going to be the moment is equal to force times distance, and that's 80 pounds was my original force. The distance is 9 feet. So the moment for this is going to be 720 foot-pounds. All right, and that, if I think about the rotation, again, if I'm holding down point B, this whole thing would start to rotate counterclockwise based on that force. And so counterclockwise, you can draw this arrow, it's a, a positive moment. And so this right here is our answer. All right, so with that, we've got our uh, two pieces. Uh, I've got uh, the moment about point A is 960 foot-pounds. The moment about point B is going to be 720 foot-pounds. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.